Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe, washing your hands, doing all those things to remain healthy and safe. I'm Katie Pison. I am the middle school teacher here at Arkansas Children's Hospital, and I thought we'd take a little time out of our day to do some fun little experiments. So the first one I'm going to do is slime. Everybody knows what slime is. Everybody has a recipe. But what I wanted to show you was mine. Mine's very simple. You probably have the ingredients at your house. And so we'll do that and I'll show you all my little tips and tricks. So the first thing is you need Elmer's glue. This is the only thing that I think you need to buy the actual brand name for is the glue. It has to be Elmer's glue. All the Elmer other glues don't tend to work as well and the slime doesn't turn out as good. So certainly want you to buy the Elmer's glue. You only need this size, which is the four ounce size. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pour it in there. Nothing fancy about that, just pour the whole container of glue. Okay, the next thing we're gonna use is baking soda. Again, probably have it in your cabinet. Okay, you can buy colored glue, you can buy the glitter glue um, to save you from the food coloring step we'll do here in a little bit. But um, I always just choose the white glue just because I feel like it does work best. But as long as you buy Elmer's, you should be fine. Okay, so we're gonna do the baking soda. I always put about one teaspoon of baking soda in it. Okay. So you're gonna wanna mix that up a little bit. Just kind of mix, 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 mix. Nothing fancy, nothing thing. Still white. Now this is the fun part. Pick your color. Food coloring. I'm going to pick green. Why green? I don't know. You put as many drops as you want. The more drops, the darker your slime will end up being. So I'm going to do eight drops because I want it to be kind of dark. Okay, and again, you're gonna stir. And you'll see it start to turn green. Kind of a Kelly green, grass green. I like it. So here comes the part where I think I have problem with like slime kits because if I use a slime kit and I use up all my liquid or whatever they gave me, I don't have any more. And with my recipe, you have options to use more if you need more. So what we need is contact solution, just regular old contact solution. This doesn't matter the brand, it just matters that it's contact solution, that's very important. I'm going to put, again, about one teaspoon, and I'm gonna guesstimate that, just squirt it in a little bit, because like I said, we're going to kind of trial and error till we get it right. So once you start stirring in the contact solution, you'll notice it becomes more of this consistency. So we're starting to get more of a slime texture or consistency, okay? I know it's not done because it's still sticking to the bowl. As long as it's still sticking to the bowl and it's too sticky, you're not done. So I'll add a little bit more and at this point, I'm actually going to put in my hands. All right. I'm going to take it out of the bowl because this is the secret to my slime. I take it out and you can see it sticking to my hands. That tells me it's not done. So I'm gonna move it in my hands a little bit and I'm gonna add some more contact solution. Just a little bit, it doesn't really have to be a specific amount. I always just add a little bit, see if it works. So how do I know it's done? It's going to stop sticking to my hands. And you'll see, I'm almost there. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. And then the magic happens. It no longer sticks to my hands. So moms and dads, I know that sounds exciting because it's not sticking to everything. And the kids usually like it because they feel like they can play with it and it's not sticking to their hands. You'll know it's done. You can even go into your bowl and kind of scoop up the rest, but it's not gonna stick to your hands. It's a great consistency. 
your hands are clean, it's fun, it's the color you want. Now, how can you change this up a little bit? Add glitter, add beads, whatever you like. Now, if you wanna add beads, only add a few. Glitter, go crazy, have as much as you want. You would add those glitter and the beads about the time you added the food coloring. So you add all the extra stuff about that time, okay? Now, when you are done, you do wanna put it in a plastic bag so that it stays ooey and gooey. Otherwise, it will dry out. It'll last you about a week before it starts to get a little gross. But enjoy, I hope you like that one. Um, we do a lot of this at the hospital, as you can imagine. Slime is the cool thing to do for sure, especially right now when we all can't be out and about. So there's that first one. All right, so what do we have next? We are going to blow up balloons using first Sprite and Pop Rocks candy. These you can find anywhere, dollar store, Walmart, wherever. Pop Rock candies, you probably had them. They make a lot of noise in your mouth. And then good old baking soda and vinegar to blow up another balloon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my balloons ready. So for the Sprite, I'm gonna open it up carefully, because otherwise it does that. <laughs> already making things explode. All right, get that open. And this is just vinegar. This is what you find in the cabinet vinegar. Um, it's not a special type of vinegar. So we're going to get our balloons ready. So what we're going to do is we have a little funnel here and I'm going to put it over the bottom. Got to put the pop rocks in. And this flavor is, let's see, cherry. Doesn't matter, no. <laughs> so we're gonna get those down in there. And I'm gonna put probably two packages just for extra fun today. Why not? Okay. Okay, so that one's ready. So we'll kind of put that off to the side and we'll get the other balloon ready too. Same idea, put it on the funnel, but we're gonna put baking soda in it. I'm gonna put about three to four scoops. Just want it to get in there enough that's gonna make our balloon blow up. Um, you don't have to use Sprite. You can use Coke or any of those other sodas. I have found that Sprite tends to work the best as far as the amount of air it blows up the balloon. But if you don't have Sprite, you don't have to use Sprite. Okay, try to get the baking soda in there. Alrighty, try to get a little bit more if we can. Okay. Are ready. So when you're putting the balloon on, you want to try to put it all the way over the top. That way it stays on really good when it starts to blow up. So I'm going to put them on. I'm not going to let them come out yet. So I'm going to kind of let it lay to the side for right now. And we'll do it in a minute. Okay, again, I'm putting it over the whole rim. Okay, we're ready. Okay, so all you have to do is kind of lift, lift it, and it's going to start blowing up the balloons. Makes cool sounds too. You can hear the pop rocks going. Ch -ch 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 -ch. All righty, and those will continue to blow up a little bit more, but that's pretty much as big as they're going to get. Um, again, things you can find at home, things to help pass the time when you're stuck inside, things that are fun and don't make too big of a mess but are still super duper fun. Um, I hope you had as much fun as I did. Thank you for joining us. 
Stay safe, wash your hands, and look forward to seeing you sometime again soon. Thank you.